He was the kind of person who'd claim he had all sorts of different things, but he'd never, you know, he'd never have any official documentation about it. He's like, oh yeah, I've got depression. Oh, okay, have you seen a doctor? And he's like, no, no, no. I just know. I've diagnosed myself. And it, it wouldn't stop there. It was just everything. It's like, uh... You know, you'd never know if there was anything actually wrong with him, because he, he by his account, he has everything. Very, uh... Very strange person. He's not someone who I talk to anymore, but for a reason that he just went the absolute ballistic at me one day over absolutely nothing. Just imagined all these slights in his head over the years that I had. I had nothing to do with anything. I was just like, oh yeah, but you did this, this, and this. And I know for a fact I hadn't done any of the things. Just went quite, quite insane. But, you know, someone who makes things up all the time. What did I expect, really? I don't really know these guys attack pattern too well, so this is this is not going to work out until I can slow down, really think about what they're doing with each stab, and just learn to kind of do it without a shield. Like, I think I rushed the boss version down where I needed this torch to see him, and I, I kind of didn't really learn anything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add this to my list of places to still do, but have a little bit of a look around other places. Uh, you know what? I can't judge that, as I also have an aversion to seeing therapists and doctors. Yeah, I mean, I can, I get it. But it's so hard to... It was so hard to take him seriously, in particular, because it's just like, there was always a story about something. Or, or other. And, um... Yeah, I just... I guess I've kind of also grown annoyed with him over the years, because he would... Asked me to buy games at full price that just came out. They'd heard amazing things about. And then when it came to playing the games, he would just say, Ah, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to play that anymore. After the first day, when we'd barely even tried it. So I lost a fortune in uh, buying brand new games, which I, I wouldn't normally do by myself. I usually wait until everything's on a very big sale. And, uh, yeah, he just kind of put me out of pocket for video games. I can honestly think... 70 pounds is is too much for a video game when if you wait a year and i still have like easily years worth of games to play you might see it for seven pounds fifty it's like 10 times less it's a huge saving for the exact same product but uh like he made me buy just one example for honor when it was brand new he just got caught Caught up in the hype of how great that game was going to be for the rest of time. Please, please, please buy it, buy it, buy it. And I did. And we got roughly uh, two and a half hours out of it. Before he said, never again. Whoa. Uh, and in those two and a half hours, he said he loved the game, right? So why the next game did he say he wouldn't play it with me anymore? Well, he'd read some things and listened to some things on YouTube about other people criticizing it. And now his opinion had flipped without him even playing any more of it to, oh yeah, absolute rubbish. Manufactured, churned out garbage by a heartless corporation that doesn't even care about games. When the night before he he in, he enjoyed it, it was it was so stupid. It's just like why why are you letting other people's opinion be your opinion and just take over and change what you actually really think about something? That is nuts. But that was him to a T. This is oh my god. I really hope he's got like skulls around his feet, like the, the typical ones of these. Oh good, 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 good. Oh 
I'll talk again when this bell isn't in my ear. <laughs> Oh, this is so loud. I got stepped on. Oof. That was weird because he just moved that foot, so I thought it was fine. Yeah, I liked For Honor. I really loved how the control of which way your sword was swinging was on the right analog stick. I thought that was such a, such a clever bit of design. So, I played it for like another couple of nights because I'd paid for it. And then, you know, eventually I didn't just want to play it by myself. And the one other pal that we had around playing at the time, he didn't want to spend that much money on it, which I empathize with. I wasn't going to make him spend all that money on it just to, you know, cover up the fact that I'd wasted so much money on it. Get him? Nope, I didn't get him yet. Oh no! No, no, no! Eat. Why? Why? Oh dear god. Oh, dear, dear me. Yeah, it's funny you say that, right? Because, uh, you know I said he went kind of nuts and we don't talk anymore. So, what happened was... We don't live in America, me and this other guy. Neither of us do, and we never have. But Trump got elected. So this was 2015. And that's what he went nuts at me over. He just decided that I was one of them. I was one of the other guys. I was the absolute villain. And that I'd done all of these things over the years that I'd never done. And he was going absolutely insane about it because he spent all of his time at that point in Final Fantasy XIV on the American servers. And he's all like, all of my friends in America are being affected by this guy becoming president. And you're, you're on the other side. You're against me. You've done all of these things that are too horrible to repeat. And, uh... I disown you. We're never talking again. And I was just like, what What are you even telling me? Yeah, that's it's that guy. I just... I don't understand. Eventually, he has po apologized to me. You know, I let him be back on my, my Steam's friends list, which I probably mentioned, just so that, you know, if he needs to tell me something, if he needs to contact me, if if he finds himself absolutely homeless or his mum dies who I know you know if, if there's something like that he can contact me but the first thing he did was like delete me block me on on everything I was just like oh okay I thought you had my back bro I thought we were ride or die but nope it's just, it was just waiting for the opportunity to just go bananas at me it's very strange Ooh. Who that? Wait, that person at the other side must be gigantic? That... 
they're really, really big. Yeah. It's like, for me, silver mirror shield. Wow, cool. That might be a Dark Souls 2 reference. For me, it's like, you know, if you had all these grievances with me, why didn't you tell me a single one of them until the meltdown? Why is there this huge list that you're reading off of all these things that I have done? And it's just, why why didn't we solve any of this like a long time ago? Shield of Radiant Silver, festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halleck Tree. I've killed a Loretta before? She was, uh, before we got to the rise with the three towers on it. Interesting. The shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd runa, rumor that Loretta herself was an Albanuric. Huh. Well, Loretta wasn't, uh, was a magical archer on a horse rather than a wolf. I get why people would say that about her. It's kind of weird to get, like, such a later game item off of a boss that I've killed a long time ago. Yeah, she was over... Over here, in the Royal Moon Grazing Grounds. There's a blue ghost, I think. Because there's different color ghosts in this game. So... Summon... Latina. Latena? Atena, the Albanuric. Okay, so this is who's been ghost whispering me the whole time I've been in this zone. Let's 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 have a look. O oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing drop lit in and create life for us, for all the Albanorics. Uh, what? Hey, what did you just do? Is kind of where I want to begin this conversation. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Oh. One of the max level upgrade stones. I used one of these earlier on my weapon. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Okay, I know exactly where Lobo is. We'll, we'll go and do that in a minute. That was... that was odd. Felt like I did a good deed, even if I didn't understand it. So that's uh, here done, and here done. Ah, some of this looked interesting too. Let's go visit this area. What a crazy zone. I just, I just, I just love doing that emote. It's just perfect. It's, uh, I've got to, I got to get my own version of that up on, up on the thing because we've got our remotes now that we got um, affiliated. We got, we got like a thumbs up me, and we got me yelling why while things are killing me. What else we got? An animated wave. Oops, press the wrong button. Damn touch screen. Man. 
So I've been loving some of these. Like, I had no idea how to make an animated GIF. I just kind of, I just kind of winged it. I think some of them turned out pretty good. So who is this delightful fellow? Ooh. He looks like one of the headless um, mausoleum guards. I, I, I killed one of these uh, mausoleums and it like... It wiped out all of the guards around it. But quite often it doesn't. There was just like this one particular one. Oh, well, thank you very much. I think uh, I think I didn't do too bad. Some of the some of the ones where I had to make the graphics from scratch. I'm I'm not a particularly good artist, but uh, yeah. some of them are. I like um didn't want my channel to be pay to win, right? Because that's lame. So there's still versions of all of those ones there that anyone who's following the channel can use. So you've got like a thumbs up, but it's a still. And I think there's a Y, but there's just one Y, and I think there's a wave. So I just picked the perfect um, frame of animation, and you you should be able to, you should be able to use them. Ooh, uh oh. Oh no! I got stabbed. Yeah, there they are. Hey, I think I um, I think I've got to change the contrast of the one that says you got this, so that it, the, the text pops out more than the background. And for the help police one, I think I can make the background clear so that people on the light theme and people on the dark theme can enjoy it just as much if I make the background clear. Whereas currently it's got a white background, and it's just like, well, that doesn't look very good on some of the different themes. So I can do better, but I'm kind of waiting for the weekend for there to be an opportunity. I spend a, I spend a lot of time on some of this stuff. Probably way more than a professional would. So it was supposed to be my uh, quick dabble at making a policeman's helm, like a British policeman's helm. Um, and sure enough, I found some pre-made on Google. But that would still be like stealing someone else's assets and just like writing a little bit of text on it, which I didn't want to do. You know, I don't want to be an art thief. That's kind of awful. So I, I had a, a little bit of a hand at trying to make it myself. It's not very good, I'll admit. It's a proper English bobby hat. I would I would say would be the way to describe it. Yeah, I gotta improve, for sure. You know what I should do? I should go to the one that I found on a Google result. And then I should see if the person um, actually mentions whether it's free to use or if it's like a, a you know, under copyright. I didn't actually think about looking. I just like assumed it was like somebody's paid work, so I didn't want to steal. Eep. All right, cool. Uh if you're not watching, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink, you know. Well, while, while no one's watching me do any gameplay. Sorry, YouTube. Later on, when this video goes live, I'm drinking a drink at this point. Now I just need the drinks company to give me an advert sponsor, and uh, we'll be we'll be good. My price will be a lifetime supply of the beverages that I enjoy. So this looks like more packs of the headless guys. 
Wait, does that one have a head? This guy could be special. Let's have another look. Aww. He's got a trombone. Or a trumpet. But he doesn't have a head. So... Oh, the landmark I was heading towards is this way. Maybe I... Oh, it could be the stone pillar thing. I don't want to check the edge as well. Maybe I'll do like a, a lap around the edge once I've checked all the, the, the things that look like something. I thought I heard footsteps. Well, I marked this rock on my map, but it doesn't seem to do anything. That was dumb. I gotta go check the, uh... Check the edge of the land instead. We got some goats. And some goats. Is this something? Oh, I was already down here. Wah, wah. Goldfish memory. Okay, what's the eagle looking at? Nothing. One of those weird thingamabobs that I... Can't figure out. Ooh. Path continues. Uh-oh. Just from that sound and that tiny couple of pixels right there, I can tell that that's a steroid bear. Because there was two doing that previously in the game. One of them was... here. I don't really want to mess with the steroid bear. So I'm going to skirt around the edge here and be cool. Oh cool, it's got snow graphics on it. Nice. I like that. Because the animal is so big it probably would have some snow on it and the, the the fur is so long that there'd be some further away from the body temperature and it wouldn't melt immediately. That's clever. Oh, I do want that piece of loot there, though. Hmm. What's that? Portal? It's turned on. Ah, that's quite rare. Most of my pores have been turned off. With the occasional exception. Um. Oh no. I might be getting invaded. My horse just got dispelled. It's go time. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Type of boy. I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, I'm not too upset that I lost my souls, right? Because that actually tells me where the portal is. Bingo. I think I'm closer from this teleporter. So let's give that a go. Trying to get me Solios back. What? Don't tell me I'm being invaded again. Killed this one twice before. Okay, let's go. It's just like all my souls on the line, which is kind of sad, but never mind. Oh, it's okay, because I drank the potion. I still don't lose the souls over at the other place. Okay. But that is that is freaky that I found two invasions, like, back-to-back -back from different directions. And I'm fighting an invasion to try and get to my last uh, invasion. Okay, let's put a marker over where she put it in from. And then maybe try and go around and get my souls. Guys, guys, one invasion at a time, please. Form an orderly queue to come and kill me. Yeesh. Alright, you're on mobile. Aw, oh, yeah. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh oh. We, we got it, we got it. We got one of these again. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? This is insane. There was two bosses out in the open. I'd rather fight the invasion. At least I stood a chance with the invasion. Damn. <laughs> yeah! The game just throws these at me now. No biggie. <laughs> 